A good morning and welcome back to Morning Live. As you know, every single Friday, it's all about Netball Friday right here on Morning Live. And SK Leanne, something which is very exciting, is the Netball World Cup 35 days away. But we got the opportunity, of course, to do that broadcast out at the Trophy Tour, out at the Cradle of Humankind. And since then, we've just been seeing a lot of people around the country starting to just feel the vibe of the Netball World Cup. Yeah, and then and, uh, the, the, the trophy, of course, doing that tour across the country. Uh, it was in Mpumalanga, I think it was in Limpopo. Um, okay. It, of course, uh, is, uh, was in the Northwest it was Province. In the Northwest now. I think, and Leanne, you're going I'm to the next it, leg. Yeah. In the next leg, so I'm going to feel the vibe when I go down there. Yeah. I felt the vibe in studio, but I can only imagine when you're there. So I'll be, I'll be on the Eastern Cape leg. Yeah, so I'm looking oh, forward so to lucky. that one. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. I'm looking forward to that one. It's fabulous to see, you know, this uh, whole uh, vibe uh, really picking up mm. and the khias and one of our regulars Morwesi sent us her pictures so here's Morwesi oh, and uh, she says well she went out she had the opportunity to uh, go and meet up there uh, with the team and as you can see there with the president and uh, the mascot and mm. uh, yeah it's just been fabulous uh, so yeah if the trophy is in your neck of the woods do go out it really is a good time oh, that's it so really much is fun. isn't it's fantastic i love this it's a really it's building it's it, building but now i'm 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 excited on your friday interviews always we get mm -hmm. to meet some of the players so you've got one for us now i've got one for all right you. let's I hand it back to you who are you speaking to <laughs> Thank you so much, Leanne and SK there. Now, we've already mentioned it. The Netball World Cup exactly 35 days away. And true to our promise, it's Netball Friday. And we've invited yet another member of the Protea squad who will be on national duty at the Netball World Cup. This morning, we are joined by Lefebvre Radaman. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us on Sports and Morning Live. Good morning and thank you so much for having me. It's really an honor and a privilege to join you uh, girls this morning. So... Let's just talk about how, for some point in time, you didn't think that this Netball World Cup was going to happen for you because of an injury. Talk us through just that difficult period for you, just trying to get into rehab and be ready for the World Cup. Yes, so last year, the Commonwealth Games, I have hurt my um, knee. I had an ACL um, injury and MCL. And um, yeah, by God's grace and goodness, um, eight months uh, of hard work and commitment, I was ready to be on court and I couldn't have done it without my amazing rehab team at SAS in Salembo. So really grateful to be part of the squad. And yeah, I just wanted to give myself the opportunity and a chance to be part of this, um, this squad and um, yeah, this amazing opportunity to play Nepal and to be part of the Nepal World Cup in South Africa. So I wanted to give myself a chance. So really so blessed to be part of the team. And we're so glad that you actually fought hard to make sure that you're ready for this World Cup. <laughs> but talk to me about just for you, at some point um, when you look at your career and you realize where you've played, you've gotten the international exposure, how important do you think that has been to helping you become the player that you are now? Oh, definitely. Um, I come from a small town, Riversdale, um, and I'm just, it's all about hard work and commitment and if you really want something and you work hard and if you believe in yourself and your dreams anything is possible and um to be part of the protea since 2019 i really had great opportunities to play um with them on the international stage and also i've been playing for two years in um, england and mm -hmm. it's a vitality super super netball league so that also gave me a lot of confidence i learned and grew a lot so you're being part of the um the team and just having that international experience also just helps you a lot for the big games and big moments like the Nepal World Cup. And we, we talk about your playing days out abroad, but now we come back to South Africa, the TNL, and we've seen the work that you've been doing just leading this Krynams team. How important do you think it is for you right now to still be in competition just in preparation for this global showpiece? Your Telkom Netball League is an amazing uh, platform for us to play. Um, I can't, we're actually playing tomorrow. We're starting and we're playing from Saturday till next Saturday because next Saturday will be the final. Um, it's just amazing being back with the Freeside Grinams. I'm really looking forward to this week. Um, we've actually been joking because this week is going to be like a mini World Cup for us because it, 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 we're playing four games off each other. You have a race day, semi, race day final. So this is actually great um, preparation for the Nepal World Cup. 
Um, but it's, I'm just so honored and privileged to be back with the Free Sacronums and the Telkom Netball League is really amazing um, competition to be part of. Indeed. Now we know that when it comes to the Proteas and the Crinums, mostly the goal attack position is where you like to dominate. Mm -hmm. But you didn't always start out in this position. Talk to us about that transition from for you from being a defensive player to being an attacking player. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so actually when I started playing netball, I was always um, on primary school, I was centre, then I moved to goal defence in high school, and when I got to the university, I started playing more centre and wing attack again because of my height. Um, and actually in my first year, I started playing guard attack, um, Danny Bertha de Kok, uh, um, um, head catch of Kofsis and Grinems at that time, she gave me the opportunity to play. And guard attack. I just always loved the position and school, I loved just to take shots and to practice playing guard attack. So, it's amazing how it worked out that I'm actually now playing gun attack and wing attack um, and also learning from the base like Marika Holtzhausen. She's also plays for Kofsis and Frisa Grinens and it's amazing just to follow her example and she's just a great leader and a player and a person. So really honoured to be playing with her here and also the Carlo Petrarius. I also played with her here in the Frisa Grinens team, learned so much from them. So yeah. Um, free side grind and scoffsies are the best place to play and to be and also just loving my position as well gun attack and yeah just loving that <laughs> And I mean, Favre, we've seen you just come almost full circle in terms of your career. And we've seen you just get to those milestones that you've set for yourself. What do you say to the young girl sitting at home now whose parents are just like, no, you can't be a netball player. You can't have a career out of netball. What are you going to eat? Because we know the struggle for women when it comes <laughs> to being a professional athlete. But what inspiration do you have for that young girl at home? And also message to the parents in terms of just supporting their children? That's a really good question because I know Nepal in South Africa maybe seems impossible, but it's not. I mentioned like if you have a dream, dream big, but also work hard. There's a lot of opportunities and Nepal South Africa is opening uh, more doors for Nepal players to play. There's more leagues. There's, um, um, if you go to university or even not, there's also clubs where you can play at. Um, it doesn't matter where you start, it, it's all about hard work and continue, continuing the netball after um, matric because there's a lot of players who stop with netball at school level because they think they had, an, they had enough or maybe don't think there is a future in netball, but that's not the case. If you really have this dream and you want to play for the Proteas and play overseas and well, you can really do it and parents just support your children. And I, it sounds crazy, but if they have a dream um, in netball, please support them. And um, your biggest dreams is anything is possible. And your netball is an amazing sport to, to play and to be part of. And your just short, work hard, and believe in your dreams, and you can really do it. There is a future in netball. The Forever, thank you so much for your time this morning. We cannot wait to see you on the court come the 28th of July. All the best to you and the rest of the team. Thank you so much for having me and have a great Friday um, as well. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you. That is Lepova Radaman. She is a goal attack as well as a wing attack for the Proteas as well as the Free State Crinums. Interesting fact about this player is that she actually purchased her tickets for the Nepal World Cup before even making the squad because she said, if I'm not playing, then I'm supporting the team.